I think we're in pretty good shape, and we uh, felt like we improved through non-district. Uh, uh, some things we probably need to get better at, but overall, we accomplished most of the most of the goals we wanted to in non-district. Now you start playing for keeps. These are these are the real ones, and uh, uh, the intensity should go up. The the anxiety goes up certainly. Midland High has, uh, you know, struggled a little bit, but obviously you're not going to overlook anybody like that. They're giving up like 41 a game, Ken. You know, are, are they short up their defense? What, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, they, they've given up some points. Uh, but, you know, the, the positives and negatives of, of our offense, the positives, we can at times move it against anybody, but the negatives sometimes if you're not executing well, uh, you're not going to move it. You, there's no there's no get-out-of-jail-free card in our offense. Uh, it's going to require you to, to uh, execute well. You talked about kind of like building off his question, playing well going into district. That win that you guys had on the road, a neutral side game against a good team. I mean, how much, how big was that leading up to a district game? Oh, I think it's huge. I mean, it felt good uh, the year before they'd beaten us. But, you know, two touchdowns kind of handled us a little bit, and uh, we were apprehensive. I think Hannah's a good football team, and they lost a lot. Uh, but we really went down and uh, and played well. I mean, we, we played well on both sides of the football. Got off to extremely uh, uh, hot start, and as a result, you know, we got a lot of kids in. Got a lot of kids got some experience, and uh, it was really a fun trip. Coach, this doesn't have much to do with the game, but King had a big game. Yeah. A few weeks back, what's it like to see him uh, have some success in the uh, Big Ten? Oh, it's really cool. I mean, I'm sitting over. Uh, we're at Abilene Christian. I'm on in pregame and uh, sitting on the bench. One of the Hannah coaches says, "Hey, Coach, uh, Darude just scored a touchdown," and uh, he's like following it on his phone. So I mean, it was a neat deal. And you know, we were excited, and I kept getting. You know, during the game, like uh, videos of him scoring, he scored, you know, he scored the three scores, and uh, it's always good to, to see your, you know, your uh, former players uh, be successful at the college level. And it's pretty neat because he's a freshman and he's doing some things uh, in the Big Ten. Ken, you were worried about, not worried, but your defense, you know, has kind of had some question marks early. Do you think they've really come a long way yeah. from day one? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the, the question marks. Uh, were youth. I mean, that's the thing. It's not like I had uh, major question marks in terms of uh, our ability to perform. It's just that when you replace nine of them, you know, and you really, uh, you know, early in the year we didn't have LB. I mean, he was our most experienced player and he was injured. Uh, so you, you, uh, you really, I mean, it does become a little bit more difficult. But no, I, I feel good. They're, they're making progress. Uh, certain teams provide some matchup problems for us. Uh, America's kind of did with some of the formations they used, and the fact that back is really, really good. Uh, but I feel good with where we are defensively. Pretty, pretty nice to, you know, kind of catch your breath a little bit in that off week as you go into district for your team. I think so. I mean, we, uh, particularly with the travel schedule, we've been to, you know, we went to Abilene, we had two home, we went to El Paso, and then we went back to Abilene. And I don't know that there's a team uh, probably in the state that's traveled as much as, as we have uh, coming out of the first five games. So we kind of needed to. Uh, gather ourselves a bit, get rested up, uh, and but now we're ready to get back out on the field.